St. Francis 73, Quinnipiac 72, your final from Brooklyn tonight. Terriers get their second Northeast Conference win of the season. Joining me now, Akeem Johnson. 18 points for the junior forward, one off the season high. Akeem, take us through those last couple minutes. It was a game that you guys were in from start to finish when Quinnipiac went up by five late in the game. Seemed like you guys had to fight back a little, ending the game on an 8-2 run to win it by one. Yeah, definitely. They're a great team. They're really aggressive. So we just really try to come in and crash the offensive, crash the defensive boards because they're number two in the country. And we just try to stay to our principles, understand what we had to do on offense. And we knew Steph is a great shooter, so he would go back door because they would overplay the, the handoff. So that's what we did, and Coach made a great decision in calling the play. Perunicic with 21 points tonight, tying for a season high. He also got his 1,000th career point for the night. Did you guys have any idea that he was closing in on the milestone before the game? And if you did, did you make it a point to get him the ball? Oh, yeah, we knew he was closing in. I think he was 16 away. But we didn't really try to make it a, a effort to get him the ball. I just We just tried to get him in the flow of the game. And if it happened, it happened. But if not, he'd had next game to get the get the 1,000 points. So it's really just it came down to the game. He had a great game overall. So it was meant to be. I just told guys uh, that there is still a lot of time left. And uh, we just got to keep doing our best and defend them. Uh, we, we played tougher than them last two, three minutes. And uh, we won. I'm just happy we won. Take us through that last possession with 15 seconds left after Coach called the final timeout. Did you have any idea that you were going to be the guy? Not really. We just uh, we called a play for me to shoot a three-point shot, actually, but I saw him attached to me, and I just went a back door, and I'm, I'm, I'm happy I scored. Stefan Perunicic, 21 points, and you, you had something you wanted to say to your family back home in Serbia? Yeah, srećan božić svima which is a Merry Christmas to the Serbians. They celebrate their Christmas on January 7th. Good luck on Saturday. Thank you very much. We're joined by Brent Jones, the sophomore point guard, a career high 12 points. Brent, congratulations on the big night. Any idea that it would go this way for you? Uh, no, I just played hard, you know. Did what the coach told me to do, and I just not made my shots. I just made, I just made shots. Any change to your dimension in the game, playing off the ball sometimes when Newton is in, or also calling the shots when he's out? Uh, no, it's interchangeable because I'm good in transition, so I get easier baskets that way instead of the half court set. And Justin is kind of a uh, he's kind of a half court guy, so it's better for us to you know play a one and two guard spot interchangeable. Being physical all week, rebounding with two hands, boxing out, being aggressive, being relentless, not not giving in to anything. They're gonna push you, they're gonna spin off you. You gotta hold your ground, and you gotta be tougher and the more aggressive team because they're bringing it. And we talked about it at halftime. We knew they were going to come out strong. And our guys responded. I'm really proud of them. 2-1 in the Northeast Conference. The Terriers make them proud tonight, defeating Quinnipiac 73-72. Sacred Heart up next for St. Francis on the road in Fairfield Saturday afternoon.